In this video, we're going to show you how to install the JCE editor for Joomla 1.5. Um, we find it to be one of the most easier to use, uh, <coughs> excuse me, robust uh, editors for Joomla. So once you've logged into your control panel, simply go up to extensions and install. We've already downloaded the uh, the editor. You can go to the Joomla component uh, extensions uh, and uh, do a search for JCE. You'll land on this page and hit download. It will take you to their website. Uh, and uh, you'll simply download the uh, the installation package. Once you have it on your desktop or in the file that you want it to, obviously browse to it. Uh, and uh, we're going to find it here. Oh, here we go. Package here. Sorry about that. And then hit uh, upload. Now we're going to go hit upload file and install. And it's going to bring in uh, that for us and install it for us. And we're going to go assign it to uh, individual users, uh, especially ourselves. It makes the choosing of articles, the linking of articles, the insertion of images, everything easier uh, to do. So once we have that installed, we see our success line there. We're going to go to site. Uh, well, first thing, you can see that it's got to have an administration. So it's a pretty powerful one. It's got its own administration. You can add groups and plugins and all kinds of stuff to it, but for starters, we're going to go back to user manager, go up to site and then user manager, and come down to our own user account, and we want actually to select the editor for that. So we want the JCE um, Central Time. We add all this stuff in, and we're going to hit save. So now we're using the JCE editor. We want to come into the uh, the configuration file and. Uh, here again, you want to use all these um, tooltips to your advantage. So yes, we want gzip. We do not want it to clean up the HTML uh, for now. Um, Plug-in mode. Um, again, go ahead and re uh, read through all of these. And whether or not you want to use non-breaking spaces and whatnot. So um, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Uh, you can add uh, different groups to it. Which groups get to use it? Do the front-end groups? such as authors, editors, and publishers get to use it. Is it enabled for them? There's a bunch of stuff you can do. So that's a real quick way to install a brand new editor. Uh, now when we go to uh, Article Manager, Content and Article Manager, and we choose an article, we're going to see the JCE editor loaded for us, and um, we'll be able to use all the functions that it's got. So it's going to start showing us um, here we can insert a, pay, a, a read more link, we can insert a page break, we can view the code of the page really quickly and it has lets us see the line numbers and the word wrap and the font size so it does a lot for us. We can actually do some editing here. If we wanted to make this there bold, let's simply hit bold and it inserts the correct code for it. So it's pretty powerful. Um, we can also do a lot of formatting from inside here from a code standpoint. Uh, if you work within Dreamweaver and you want to bounce back and forth, this is a great window for you because you can obviously simply control A it and then control C it, copy it in, dump it into Dreamweaver, make your edits, and dump it back in. Uh, and then down at the bottom, you can hit update. Uh, regarding images, we want to insert an image in the top left hand corner, put our cursor up there, and click insert image. It gives us a lot more options than our typical Joomla tiny MCE does. We've got the URL, we can put it rollovers, we can put in advanced styles, um, we can set the margins, borders, but we can also, again, it still puts us in the same route. It doesn't, it puts us inside the stories folder by default. So again, everything wants to go inside the stories folder. So hope that was helpful.